Oh, look. There he goes. Come on, get you. Come on, get you. Come on, get you. Is that a... Yeah, it's a yeah, guillotine. It's a guillotine. Hmm. Ah. Didn't know they were French. Do you honestly think you're fu- Could you be any louder? Ah! <gasps> You, you really trying to trap yourself, dude? I had never noticed it before. I was wondering if it would go off if you stepped on it. <laughs> oh, f uh, slide! Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Scare, of being scared with the uh, Renegades and some Poppy Rick, or as we will be colloquially known, the Beardy Boys. Well, yes. Well, well, two thirds of the Beardy Boys. Yeah, yeah. Just a, just a little yeah. bit, just a little, little bit mm. of, a little bit of. Hey, we gotta, we gotta keep it, we gotta keep it fresh, you know. Got to keep the style up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, looking good, looking real good. Yeah. Yep, I'll fuck myself. Yeah, and of course, uh, as uh, to be introduced, my name is Nate from the Renegades. We have Simpoppy Rick. Uh, he is going to be... Uh, it, this was actually a whole thing he's been doing on his channel. So if you actually want to see another Top 20 uh, scared vi scary video from Nuke's Top 5, feel free to head over to his channel because the dude like the dude has been cranking these out and the fact that he's bringing me in on it and is just making me... You know, just making me feel so welcome with this is like, dude, thank you so much. Really, a hundred percent. It's because my it's people on my end and my channel have been loving this series, and I actually have a mutual viewer that is a viewer of you as well. Oh, really? And when I started doing this series with Nuke Top Five, uh, I believe it was I forgot his name. I think it was I think it was Habs. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Habs. It was so yeah. It was it was a Habs. Habs. I think so. Uh, put in my comment section stating oh you should uh you should watch older videos because nate or you, uh, you, i should talk with the uh, renegades because nate used to do uh nukes top five in the past yeah so that's where i initially got you for the first you know two for my channel two for yours mm -hmm. and why not make this a staple just continue doing you know two for mine two for yours two for mine two for yours you know we grow together we show together Absolutely. because it's better to be growers than showers because <laughs> that's how you that's how you, you do it in that. life. Well, that's yeah. how you do the life. Well, that's what we're we're trying our best <laughs> to uh, grow our respective channels because we've had we've had issues over the last year. Uh, each of us dealing with community guideline strikes. Each of us dealing with demonetization and just a bunch of stuff coming in on all sides from YouTube. And we're trying our best to expand and become more uh you know just just have more content on this platform under you know new under new flags and just uh you know linking up with new friends and all of us growing together because hey it's lonely at the top so why not why not ascend together i mean exactly that's, that's how i think it should be and you know we and we we've all carved out we've each carved out our own respective careers on this platform i mean you doing comps for the goons you doing reactions, you doing gaming videos on your own end, and me here recently getting back into gaming on a more on a more like steady level. We've been doing horror games with Kate and been scaring the hell out of her with that. I was uh, watching that as well. It's, it's yes. phenomenal. Scaredy Kate. Watch yeah. it. Watch it, guys. Yes, please do. Because uh, please, please watch. We need the views. <laughs> Please, Masa. Please, Masa. Can you just well, watch a smidget of well, videos? We're hoping we're hoping to hit 10k uh, subs uh, this year uh, because we're really going to be ramping up the uh, the production because we currently have two editors working with us, and uh, the only thing that's really been holding us up is we have a thumbnail artist who I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call him out, but apparently he's been having finals, as in college finals, for about three months now, and I'm just like. Um, Either your college is stricter than any other college out there and has final and like your whole year is a finals. You know, it's just like it's the fi it you're doing finals this year. It's like, yay, it's like but they last the entire year. Oh like that would be hell. But Yeah. I just no communication, no anything like that. I'm I'm moving on. I've found another thumbnail editor or thumbnail creator and hopefully It'll pan out. It'll pan out good, but it's just 
and I liked the guy. I mean, I was working with him for you know, the better part of a year, but just no communication and just just failed uh, deadlines and all that. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, it happens, but, unfortunately, but you got you to gotta move on and you know, get somebody who's more dependable. And, and again, it's that's just how it is. Sometimes you got to separate friendship with, uh, with, uh, with business. And if you can't be there, just be honest. Just say, hey, no, listen, I'm busy. I have school. No matter how and painful it is. Yeah, because that's that's my current thing with my uh, with my artist, and you know I work with her schedule. She's you know she's a nurse major, mm-hmm. so I even though things come out late, I I'm willing to work with it because you know she's like almost like family. But yeah, when there's things where I need to get done, then obviously I outsource. But well, I do respect that she's in college, but at least she's she's forward with it. Hey, I'm sorry for delaying, but I have midterms coming up, or I have a test, or I have this week is full of this. This she's. Yeah transparent yeah where I've, I've messaged this guy four times and i've yet to hear back from him uh, over the last like three days it's like well i guess either okay either he's dead or he's <laughs> ignoring me at this point i mean i i don't know what else to think because it it is what it is man but so overall though we uh you know we're doing these new things and uh hey the we figured let's go ahead and just jump right in to some scary videos and get y'all ooh. some ooh it's so spooky how's so spooky yeah and uh hopefully uh, nothing nuke's tough by <laughs> emotional <laughs> damage <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> so i feel like i'm going to be suffering after this i don't really <laughs> See, do I have? Oh yeah, I got I got a horror sound here. There we go. Oh, speaking of Undertaker, you know he's gonna be in Rainbow Six. I did not know that. Wait, They're adding, Siege? yeah, in Rainbow Six Siege. They're adding him. The the he's gonna be a, a Buck Legendary. I think no Maverick. Maverick Legendary skin is gonna be Undertaker. Hell yes, I am down for that. I need I need uh, I need to I need to get back into that. I need to get back into Siege. I haven't played Siege in forever, man. I feel, I feel I feel so inadequate. The fact that I haven't played in so long, I feel like I'm gonna get in there and instantly die. That's that's what's gonna happen to me. Yeah, uh, that's gonna happen to me. Get my my booty penetrated. So anyway, I've got <laughs> I've got the top twenty scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year. Ooh, so spooky! And, ooh, so spooky! So scary! So. I've got them queued up here, and I guess I'm going to uh, give them a uh, give them a shot. And uh, I've got the screen pulled up. Do you see it on your end, Rick? Yes, I do. All right. So anyway, I think I've got uh, yeah, I've got everything else queued up here, uh, just in case. And let's go ahead and hop in to the top twenty scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year. <laughs> top twenty. Scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year. Oh gosh. <laughs> there goes your intro. <laughs> Presented by the Beauty Boys. Round one. Fight. <laughs> You're really good at that. You you are really, really good at that. You, you, like the way you say it is just so perfect. Anyway. Uh I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this before we we just keep rambling. Here we go. Also, during these videos, I promise not to pause as much. Instead, I'm going to enjoy what these are. Okay. That user Dark Secret 37 is a mother from the Philippines currently living in Japan with her two sons. Filipina in Japan. The Sakura trees are in full bloom. The two boys make a video with one of their friends filming. What happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Okay. <gasps> oh! Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Donkey Kong. Did you see it? 
G yeah. yeah. Right there. Yeah, that's... Whoa. What in the Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. That's a... Uh, Ooh. There's nothing and no one there. Japan's got some got some, some creepy like lore to it. Long ago, someone was buried on the spot yeah. where the Sakura tree now stands, and that the restless spirit tried to reach out to the children. Nah, I'm sorry. But what yeah. do you think this creepy hand could be? Is it real uh, or a, just an elaborate? A demon, a, 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 a I yokai. Would say a ghost. Yeah, a yokai or a you know a juan, you know a grudge. Oh. On camera, like those. User Summer, who is a mother of two, lives in a small house in an old town in rural Georgia. Late one night, okay. Summer takes her phone out to record a quick video in her backyard, but she immediately notices something uh -oh. that is absolutely unnerving. Y'all, I am in my yard. Watch. Yeah. Y'all. This is not Ooh. an app. Oh. Movie. My yard. Ooh. The church is behind me. I saw a face. Watch my face. Oh Christ! Church. Oh. See straight through me. I kid you not. Look at this. Whoa. On camera, Summer's face seems to twist and distort into something unrecognizable. As she yeah. simply moves around in her own backyard. That Summer says that she is deeply worried that the strange old church across the street might be the cause of the creepy occurrence. That that could be uh, also uh, like a refract a light refracting thing with like her camera. Because I gotta ask, girl, probably has a Galaxy Three. Are you are you use, are you filming this on an Android? Be honest. Not all Android. Don't don't I'm you dare. Joke, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> it's probably but, like a Galaxy Five. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy Five that's been dropped and all that shit. Because she lives in rural Georgia. I mean, I, I'm not one to stereotype, but there's some people back there that still use uh, that still use dial-up internet and Nokia's and Razer flip phones and. Now, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Those are durable as shit. Yeah, true. You Throw at somebody and it could be a, a legal weapon. Conk. She attempts to find information about the history of the old church, but she hits a dead end and is left with no answers. Mm. So did Summer catch a bizarre paranormal visual disturbance on camera? Or just what? That was creepy was though. Here? That was very mm -hmm. creepy. Oi. Ah, you got um, a freeze frame on that shit? A uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Yeah. TikTok. More than 150 years old, the Anson Call House is known for its ghost stories. A family that lived here for close to 20 years says there's no question this place was haunted. On Halloween night, paranormal okay. investigation team Paranosis hosts a live uh. on their TikTok page as they investigate the allegedly haunted Anson Call House in Bountiful, Utah. The historic home was built in 1859 and was the home of Mormon pioneer Anson Call and his five wives. It is said that Anson was oh, man. polygamy, polygamy. If they did not it's more him, complicated the than you think. Passed away inside the home. Eighty-four hmm. years later, it is said that Ted Bundy kidnapped and held a woman in the Anson Call home before taking her life. Ooh, Lead investigator sheesh. Bennett Rain and her team are broadcasting live outside the house. Uh, nice Sam Hain jacket, bro. See something absolutely terrifying. What? There's like a knock on the sound of like that. Oh, I thought I saw someone running. I can't. Freaking, that's where it was trying to drip. What? Oh, it is the freaking ceiling. Whoa. Okay. Here's someone talking. There's Poltergeist. Guys. The yeah. Okay, that's, that's the freaking ceiling. Freaking. I don't. I don't know. What? <laughs> What? There was a thing like smashing up against the glass. <laughs> the ghost playing Gmod. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, Gmod ghost. Was that the front of the freaking house? Oh boy. Oh boy. What was that? The window. It's coming from inside. It hit the. Oh. Oh. This has been happening the 
That's been happening the whole time? You were yeah. here. Somebody's been banging on the window and the door. We got it on video too. Okay, I think I'm done. I need to get... What the hell? Damn. Is that gonna break the... <laughs> I don't know. If it does break the window, then I'm... Then I'd say I would, I would get away from the window first. Yeah, yeah. What the, southern, hell? What, what the hell? What the hell? That's the freaking. I'm done. Dude, I'm southern okay. as hell, and that's pretty go damn southern right there. You're gonna go in? <laughs> yeah, let's go in. Why would you go in when the freaking house is falling apart? Remain wow. Dun let's like, go inside. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing. Like, dun you hate to see like stereotypes play out from horror movies, but it's always <laughs> the dumb white people. It's just like, what was that noise? Let's go investigate. It's just like. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, you see everyone else like there who's got two brain cells in their head. They're just like, "No, what are you doing? No!" Listen, it's the white thing to do. Yeah, it's a white the white thing. thing to do is to investigate. While yeah. us Hispanics and minorities, we we do Scooby Don't. <laughs> Scooby they do Doo Scooby, Scooby. White Doo. people do Scooby Doo. <laughs> we do yeah, Scooby Don't. I can see instead of Scooby Doo, y'all have a y'all have a pit bull named Scooby Don't, and he's just like <laughs> it's just like. Like anyone, like any motherfucker, come near me, I say Scooby, don't. He gonna he gonna bite your balls off. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. <laughs> I can see that. Me, you learn I'm today. not. Me, I'm not dumb enough to go into a like supposedly haunted house and tr and just test the fates. Like I'm already dumb as hell. I don't need like any more proof that I'm like I deserve a Darwin Award. <laughs> of a bed frame fly up towards the ceiling. That's a she bed frame? Or that was a ladder? Head inside to investigate. Ah, about this, two. I think this is where the banging was coming from. This is for sure where, look. The window, yeah. yes. There it is. That's what I saw mm. flying around. It's a child's it's bed frame. The window. Yeah, it's like clear up by the ceiling. Now, this terrifying event was all captured live, and fans of the Paranosis team shared their recordings of the investigation on TikTok. What makes the footage even more compelling is that paranormal fan Ashley came along on the investigation and Peanut she butter captured waffle. chilling footage of the Anson call. Paint it butter waffle. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that's some Galaxy 3 phone quality right there. <laughs> I can't see. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see stuff a lot? Like Not everything? really. I just hear things in my bedroom. Oh, that's crazy. My... Nah. No. Nah, 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 yeah. nah. Do you still live there? Like, my bedroom's like right on this side. On this side right here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Damn. Oh my god. Wow, I broke. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, the neighbor came over and was like, I know. are there people in there? And they're like, someone's knocking on our... And I was like, no, like, I think it might be the vibration from this. The kid that came up to us, he lives next door, and he was saying that um, he never sees anything, but he hears stuff all the time. And his window to his bedroom was right next to the house, and he said he hears stuff all the time. That's why he came out running. But they did say the neighbors on the right hand side, like the opposite side of him, they always see women walking around upstairs where a lot of that banging was happening. So, no thanks. Now with so many witnesses to these paranormal events, it makes you wonder whether the Anson Call home might be truly haunted. And someone or something from the other side was banging on the doors and windows. Probably one of the wives. Out. But Probably one always, or multiple of the wives. that to you to decide. Or the Ted Bundy uh, victim. Or the Ted Bundy victim, yeah. Mm. Anything that you think should be included in the top five 
Contact us at nukestopvibe at gmail.com. Go scare Sagar my CPM. mama. Marika Devitt from the Netherlands posts on TikTok that she is worried about her youngest son. Two-year-old Mateo is playing in his room upstairs when Marika hears hell. the boy yelling. She hurries upstairs to check on him, but everything seems fine. But when she looks at her security footage to see what the problem was, she is shocked. Uh-oh. Oh, you see an orb. Yeah, I saw it. Why'd you throw the chair? I see it. Mm hmm. I see him. Whoa! Mateo appears to be looking at and even arguing with someone or something that we can't see. Then the two-year-old seems to be pushed backwards onto the floor. Now Marika says that Mateo is fine and was completely unharmed, but... This is where the story takes a very strange turn. Oh God, it gets worse. Marika says that she was originally pregnant with triplets, but sadly the other two fetuses failed to develop, leaving only little Mateo. Marika believes that Mateo might be visited by the spirits of his unborn siblings. But Maybe. What do you think happened to little Mateo? How dare you were born? Let me know. I don't know. There's the there's several things. I don't there's think it's that. that. I don't think it is that. I think. There's a malicious spirit that's attached to mm -hmm. itself, and it is and it is acting out with this child. And I would say the biggest thing that, I mean, you could definitely tell that, I Mateo the the kid seemed to be like engaging with it, and that's one thing that they say do not do with spirits like that. Do not engage. Now where he's a child, I, I think it could be forgiven, but at the same time. I don't think the spirits really give a shit about that. They're, yeah. they're especially if they're malevolent. If they're malevolent, then just all bets are off. I mean, if you look into the whole quote unquote Scientology into the whole spiritual ghostly realm, yeah, that it it shows that the older the ghost entity is, the more powerful it becomes. If he's a young yeah. child, like a toddler, I think that that kid is probably what two two years old, if anything. If that, yeah, maximum three. I don't think a a being that was not truly born yet in that time period could become that powerful. Yeah, if that's, that's more like you said, malevolent. That's the case. Malevolent. Yeah, if that's the case, then yeah, I mean, I could definitely see like the older the spirit, you know, the more powerful. But again, this is all conjecture, and this is stuff that we just don't know. And I would love to, I would love to, you know, be able to discern like yeah there's a ghost here and it's being malevolent because it's upset about something and it's acting out with this child because the child's interacting with it i mean there's multiple things that you could say but until we understand more about it like if you believe in the spirit realm and all that then who knows yeah we can't interview them no wish we could if i could interview a ghost and just like you see like the most scary motherfucker like right behind me and i'm just like so, uh, real quick, what do you, uh, yeah, where do you see yourself in five years? But I, uh, how'd you die? What happened to you? I was crushed under the weight of your mother. <laughs> yeah, why bring my mother in this? <laughs> it's like, he's like, bitch, don't make me call the Ghostbusters. I'll call Sam and Dean right now. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's let's keep her going. <laughs> Supernatural investigator Cody Aaron says, "Hey, wow! <laughs> oh, hey, there you go." He doesn't believe that ghosts are real, or at least that they aren't the lingering spirits of humans. Instead, he believes that all paranormal experiences are actually demonic in nature. Ooh. Cody says that he has successfully helped troubled families struggling with demonic presences for years. So when a family member reaches out to Cody about the terrifying activity occurring in their office building, 
the concerned investigator doesn't hesitate to offer a helping hand. But what he encounters in this office building even takes him by surprise. Cody records as he explores the creepy empty office space at night. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own, and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know. Oh, Ooh, hello! Here this time. I, I've not seen anything. Uh, I've not seen anything! It's 946. Oh, and 69. Usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is. Uh, call it a I know where this place is. You know where this place is? Where? In West Virginia, because that's, uh, that's West uh, Virginia right there. Ah, okay. Day. Uh, I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what... <laughs> That's almost perfect comedic timing. Okay, so, uh, I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed. That's a draft. On its own. Either that or the little demonic ghost bitch. Uh. Did you see it? Yeah. Kind of hard not to see that. To be a yeah. Girl standing right behind him. When he walks into the room the figure appeared in, a door behind him slams shut. After reviewing his spooky footage, the investigator decides to return for another night. And it did not go well. Why? Because he can't, because for the views, dude. People want him to go back. Look in this room whoa i see Ooh. that what in the world is that i don't know oh that is insane i have never seen something like this it's like peeking yeah it's like this trying to peer out of the darkness me in the next room See that it disappeared. What in the world? Okay. Don't know, man. I, I'm going over. I I have to see what this is. Oh hell, dude. See and look. Come Who on. We don't. Here is the motion detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. There's no motion detect. Look, look, it's moving. And there's no motion detection right there. That is nuts. Look at that. Really, really, really reconsidering his life decisions right now. He's just like, do I really got to go in this other room right now? And then he looking at January. He's like, I, I have to do it. And I have for to the do view, it. For the views, brother. For the views. Yeah, I've earned one third of your uh, typical revenue. Yeah. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Woo! <laughs> no. <laughs> gone. <laughs> gone. As soon as I hear that, I am bolting out the door. You will never see me in that building ever again. <laughs> Period. Jesus. Leave! Jesus. Hold on. One more time. One more time. Leave! Yes, ma'am. Gone. Bye. See you later. Jesus, man. I'm speechless. I am too. That's freaking terrifying. Gosh. Woo. <laughs> uh, my eyes irritated. Woo. Not sure if I got something in my eye or what, dude. That dude. Holy shit. Ah. Uh. That that got both of us, dude. That got both of us really, really bad. 
Whew. Damn. I don't know what to say. I'm just let's see what's let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not gonna do this by myself. <laughs> okay. Be shocked when suddenly a loud voice yells, "Leave!" So could it be that the office building is haunted by a demonic presence, or could it all just be an elaborate hoax? Maybe. Inside? Mm, I don't know. Check out more paranormal moments over on Cody Aaron's TikTok page and YouTube channel. Listen, insur insurance fraud. Just burn it down and just user, Lacey, claim your money. Yeah, I agree. At Sarasota High School in Florida. Lacey says that there have always been stories about the ghost of, quote, Shannon, a Victorian woman who is said to haunt the high school's theater. Back in 2007, during a high school production of Beauty and the Beast, many believed that Shannon the Ghost made a very unexpected appearance, and it was all captured on camera. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Shannon. The unexplained apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress can be seen floating eight to ten feet above the stage. So it should be noted that this was in no way a part of the play. So could this be the spirit of Yeah, 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 that part in Beauty and the Beast where the creepy old bitch appears above everyone is just like you're all going to die. Yeah. Nah, they're trying I, they're just trying to go against uh, you know, fair use, so they're making a difference so they don't they don't get sued. I guess, yeah, but dude, the fact that that happened in front of a crowd and the crowd reacted yes. to it. That's a that's a whole new ball game. Of Shannon, the Victorian era ghost that haunts the theater. Let me know what you think. Why can't you just upload on YouTube so you get more raw? Jeez, that quality. I can literally but count the pixels. But that's the that's that look at that, and it stays. Yeah. You can make up the body figure too. It is a woman. Less yeah. Troubled. TikTok user Rifki from Minkulu, Indonesia says that he was ah, in to, trip to pick up some items at the local convenience store. Hurt. But on his way back home, he has a terrifying encounter. Okay guys, gue dari baru dari Indomaret dan gue habis belanja di Indomaret dan sekarang waktu mau balik ke kos oh, Indomaret ada orang orang atau apa gue enggak tahu ya guys dan Oh, I see. Harus satu dong untuk ke kos gue. Hmm. Oke, okay, kita deketin aja ya, oke. Okay? I think I see what he's talking about. Creepy, creepy old lady. Run, run, run. And she's gone. gone. Don't go back. Come no, on, you Indonesian. No, no, no. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be dumb. Run. It was the smartest thing you were doing and you stopped. Watch your profanity. It seems to just stand motionless on the side of the road. Rifki is freaked out. And since this is his only way home, he decides to just run past the bizarre woman. But when he turns to look back, she has disappeared. The chilling figure appears to be a woman in a dress with her hair covering her face. Rifki is uncertain see, of what he has just witnessed. See, whenever I see stuff like this, because sometimes they can do like, like, uh, they can place a 3D figure in these videos sometimes, but I often look at, because the way you can often tell that it's fake is the shadows. Because the, yeah, the shadow, if they aren't, if it isn't rendered properly, and it doesn't have a shadow mechanic with it, then it won't, then the shadow will be like, uh, like, won't look right. But the shadow here looks solid. It follows her, per like, perfectly. I, I, 
Either this is a I, really go ahead. Look at that. Look at that rock. You has a shadow being cast yeah. at the same angle as the shadow cast from the woman. Yeah. And when you and the when you see it move with her, the shadow moves with her as well. So it's so yeah. Either this is a really good render, or this is a really good. Uh, this is like this is real. Captured. Look at the hand too. Oh yeah, yeah. The hand this movement. Twig like. This real ghost yeah. caught on camera. Are just someone acting really strange. I leave it up to you to decide. Maybe I don't know. Mountain crawler. Casper. Isaiah Harris. Casper Mountain. I like that name. The Casper Mountain Crawler in Wyoming. In the middle of the night, as they're my my cousin Zach's been there. To hear strange hmm. groaning noises that seem to be coming from underneath the bridge. Mm -hmm. Isaiah pulls out his phone and starts to record as they go to investigate. What happens next is downright terrifying. Me and my cousin took a bridge. hike in the middle of the night. That means that we're close. And what we found was the most terrifying the thing anymore, I've but... ever witnessed. That's a skinwalker, dude. Did you hear that? Might be a skinwalker. <laughs> There's something under there. Bro. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Why people are dumb. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. What's wrong with this with this man, dude? What is wrong? Or pale humanoid shape can be seen lurking in the Who? Oh. <laughs> that got me. That got me. I wasn't expecting something to actually be there. I got cuz I'm used to these videos like showing it's like there's nothing there. It's like, oh, but instead, see something's like, "Woo!" Like just, like I said, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> that's like a skinwalker. Like I was saying, dude, skinwalkers like if, like that's one thing like I have a fear about that. If you hear one, if you hear noises like that, or you hear the like animal noises that change and stuff like that, leave. Do not stand around and wait for it. Yeah, that is oh the darkness of the sewer tunnel. Oh, that is look terrifying. at that body figure. Look at that. Yeah, Isaiah posted his spooky experience to TikTok, and the video instantly went viral. But many viewers were skeptical about the strange sudden cut at the end of the video. So, Isaiah posted an update to explain. So, let me just explain something. I actually film on three different apps at a time to film my videos. Last night, I was trying to film everything on Snapchat. So, whenever I recorded, whatever I recorded, um, I wasn't going to just sit there and record it because I was running for my life, okay? And I'm not trying to be funny about this. Um, literally, I was puking. Like, I mean, opened his door mid-drive and vomited. I don't know if it was because I was genuinely terrified or if it was because I was running so much, but I, yeah, I, I did. But I Maybe did both. I screenshot mm -hmm. what was under that bridge and enhance it for you guys, and I'll, I'll show you that. Yeah, um, let me just tell you, I've never been more terrified in my entire life. I can't even look at this picture right now. For you guys saying that it was like a friend or like somebody else down there, it may have been a homeless guy. I, I heard that theory, but I do not know what he would have been doing down there, butt naked, maybe taking a bath, but just the sounds and everything about it just did not sit right with me. Now, after many requests, or some might say dares, from his viewers, Told him to go back. Isaiah and his cousin Brock decide to go back to Casper Mountain and spend the entire night camping out. Oh, brother. Nights. So we're doing it. We got the four wheeler in the back, tents, and a hammock that I brought. We're up here. <laughs> so we're going to spend the entire night to try to find whatever it was that we saw last night. Um, we're up on the mountain. Sing it with me, kids. White people are dumb where we did see it kind of close by there was a waterfall that's kind of more down the mountain but we're gonna try and find it tonight we're gonna be up all night no, no sleep all right guys we're here um we're about to unload the four-wheeler but have some fun kind of just camp out for a little bit we got our sight and 
Yeah. Forgot your axe? This is how we do it down here in the wild. Oh yeah, look at that brain. <laughs> just that sudden cut. Just <laughs> like You're running. Just like it was like here in the wild. Hell yeah. yeah look, at that look at that break. <laughs> <laughs> look at that break. <laughs> look at that break. C immediately cuts to eleven thirty at night. It's just like, yeah, we're having fun. Yeah, that's what oh, I God. see. <laughs> like that, oh my God, let's go. <laughs> it's like that. It's like a sudden cut you see in a movie. Oh God, I remember Badger was talking about. You know that Alec Baldwin movie that where he shot somebody, Rust. Um, they were talking like, imagine the, them editing that film, and it just you, like you just get a single frame of Alec taking a gunshot, and then it just cuts to the next scene of like someone someone else walking somewhere. It's like. Oh, god dang it! <laughs> oh, that's so fucked. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of creepy. Look, hope he doesn't jump out to scare me. Ah! Please don't scare me. Oh my god! <laughs> so he's got this terrible lighting. Can't walk. Oh my goodness! But we're literally trying to land the force real quick. We're just walking back right now, and like legit, I think we're lost because I don't have any idea where we're at. Do you know where we are, dude? Oh hell no! Oh hell no! <laughs> the black came out. <laughs> okay, hey! So oh hell no! We didn't really get anything. We've been out here since like what? We started looking at about ten, and it's already like two thirty. Sorry guys. Maybe we can come back up here and film another one, but you see, my cousin Zach has a camper. Uh, you know, like a huge camper that, you know, he could take, like, on expeditions and all that. And he's taking it to Wyoming. Uh, if I'm going to be out in the woods where there might be a skinwalker, I ain't staying in a tent. I'm staying inside that thing. I'm locking all the doors. And I'm sleeping with, like, with, like, my pistol. My pistol, like, right here. Just, like. I, I, I was going to say the same thing. Cause I, in my hand is, um. <laughs> Have you. Like all of a sudden, just... all of a sudden, I hear something. It's just like, just like, what, what, who that, who, who's that, who back there? And all of a sudden, you just hear I'm Zach. I'm one eye open. Just all of a sudden, you just hear Zach. You just hear Zach in the back of the camera, just being like, "All right, brother, I had to take a piss." Yeah, <laughs> I could see that too. <laughs> 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 Not loaded, by the way, so don't freak out, everybody. This is it's, actually fake as hell. So this is this is this does not count. This is fake. Yeah, it's a Nerf bullet gun. Yeah, it's it's literally a, a fake, as you can see. And when you get it in you know, your POV, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's literally falsified, hollow, plastic bullet. It ain't nothing. Plastic. Yeah, Susan. Anyway. So relax, Susan. Yeah, yeah. We're we're only doing it for the comedic effect. We aren't actually doing. In like inappropriate thing or anything dangerous. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't sticking my you know something in it. Some creepy footsteps. Isaiah and Brock don't really capture much of anything that night, or at least that's what they thought. Because did you see it? You know where we are. Wait. Dude, oh hell no. Oh, I see it. I oh, see yes. it. They hear footsteps. Someone or something can be seen running through the trees, hiding in the dark. So yep. Isaiah and many of his viewers believe that some kind of strange creature is living on Casper Mountain. So a skinwalker, bro. Thing to be a skinwalker or a rake. But who or what do you think this is? Yep, it's Drake. No, down in the comments, <laughs> through the looking glass. I was running through the six with my, <laughs> with with my. Oh, <laughs> sorry. With my goals. Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Claims that an old mirror in her home sometimes shows things that just aren't there. It's just a portal. So this is an old mirror that I upcycled, and I've seen Ocu I, I've seen the movie Oculus. You can see stuff in the background. Break the break the mirror. mirror break it. Life. So I'm just gonna do a couple back and forths, but I'm curious to see if anyone sees anything that maybe I didn't catch. So here we go. Here's the mirror. 
Okay, so that's the background. Mm hmm. I saw orb. Ooh. Never mind, never, that was dust. Never mind. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Once again, my apartment. All right, comment if you see anything that's out of place. Did you see it? It's no. Looking in the mirror, something can be seen sitting on the couch. Right oh, the I see it now. Around, it's Nothing's gone. there. Whatever it is, it seems to only be visible in the mirror. Now, whether it's real or just another elaborate TikTok hoax, as always, I leave it up to you to decide. Monique Chacon is spending a fun day with her son at a park in California. At Chacon. Suddenly, the little boy begins to act very bizarre. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Did we, uh... Um, just checking on something real quick. Okay, no, we... I thought that we... That they had to cut one out there, because sometimes that does happen, where, uh, you know... The original uh, video, uh, you know, poster is just like, "Hey, I don't want your video. I don't want my video included in your top twenty, bro. Take it out." And then True. they like copyright claim it or block it, and then they're just, uh, and then you know, it doesn't can't it can't go back up until you edit it out. I thought that's what we had here because, As always, like, you I'm barely see the eleven. Decide. Like, you barely see the 11, and it doesn't give you a name of, like, what the haunting is, or what the name of the video is. So I was like, I thought it got cut out there. I was like, huh, wonder what that's about. Cohen is spending a fun day with her son at a park in California. Okay. When suddenly, the little boy begins to act very bizarre. Yeah. <sighs> Dig up a phone. Mommy, mommy, look. Out of nowhere, the boy just suddenly seems to stop and stare at someone or something that we can't see. Then, without a moment's hesitation, mm. he drops to the ground and starts digging furiously with his hands and finds a random phone from underneath the heavy pile of leaves. After That's watching mulch, the footage but... later, Monique believes that something supernatural might have instructed her son to find that phone. Hi guys. Maybe a kidnapping victim? An update on Maybe. What to the phone. Well, I threw it away. Um, I didn't think anything at the time of when I threw it away um, that I shouldn't have until I watched the video. Um, after watching the video, it didn't sit right with me. It kind of... Um, Gave me the creeps, actually. But um, with me too. There really is no story time. The phone was broken. The face was cracked. There was a battery on top of the face, like in the front of the face, but it was broken. So I threw it away. Um, that's it. There's really no story time. He just played, and um, I kept recording him. So that's what I do. I record all my kids when they're playing baseball, football, at the park. I'm that mom <laughs> that records every minute and second of their lives. Um, but that's it. So, unfortunately, Monique threw the phone away. What if that was like some kidnapping victim like who went back to where they were exactly. kidnapped? And then that phone was the only thing that had evidence on it that could show where the body was or who did it. And exactly. Then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, this disgusting phone. I'm just gonna throw it away. It's like Nick, because we in this reality it's unfortunate, but there's something called trafficking, and there are either you know women being trafficked or maybe children. children being trafficked. Yeah. And you never know, maybe a kid who was trafficked could have unfortunately lost their life, and their only way to reveal what happened was in that device. You could have took another device. Went to a screen repair place. And yes, it's not cheap. No. But I would have went on my way. I know, would have too, because I'd be curious. Figure out. Yeah, exactly. I'd be curious. Sometimes kills a cat, but... In this case, might it might solve the something. crime. Exactly. Yeah, in this case, curiosity could have solved the crime, because this wasn't like you were going into a dangerous building 
that had mysterious noises coming out of it, or going uh, or going into the basement of the house of a known like known offender or anything like that. No, this was a phone that your child mysteriously found in the middle of a park, digging it out from under a thing of mulch, and yeah, it, there there could be anything on there. Hell, mm-hmm. you could if it, hell. Let's take the malicious stuff out of the picture. You could find out who this phone belonged to and return it to them, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, this has so many, how many, so many pictures and so much stuff on it that you know I, I thought I'd lost forever. Thank you so much. Like, yep. e- like even taking the malicious side out of the stuff, there's something that could be benefited from it. But instead, just throwing it away, like me, I, I would probably, I would have done something with it. I would have tried yeah. to do something with it. Like for me, I a d- quick little antidote. There was a phone that was literally left, like, like I guess you could say, in the middle of the street in front of my house. Yeah. It was, it was beyond damage, and it was dead. So I took the phone. It was an Android. It was an Android phone. I think it was like more up to date uh, Samsung. So I have the UPC Type C um, charger. So mm-hmm. I charged it. A no, USB Type C. Sorry, I don't, don't want to get yelled at in the comments. So I have the USB Type C charger. Charge the phone. Turn the button on. But the screen was completely broken. But guess what? People who owned that phone was able to track it. Ah. And the hours later, I get it. Uh, no, all the doorbells in the house got ringed. I open the door and I say, hey, we, our phone is pinged here. So I handed it to them and they took the SD card out and whatever's in there, I guess is their personal stuff. But look what I did. Yeah. You gave them their phone back and they probably got a bunch of shit back that they lo- thought they lost. Yep, yeah. Simple. Very simple. All right. Back, back to it. Leaving us all to wonder just what was on that broken phone. Now, I have to say that this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen. But what do you think? Did a spirit tell the little boy to find the phone? Or just what is going on here? You tell me. The Newburn Haunting. Sam Aldridge, his wife, and two young children live in a beautiful home in Newburn, North Carolina that was built in the late 1950s. Mm. Although the home is charming and spacious, Sam says that the property's history is... OG oh, Daddy Dark. One of the previous owners like that away name. in the upstairs master bedroom, and the remains of two unidentified individuals were found buried mm. in the backyard. Cause Ooh. Of death, unknown. Yeah, that's a Sam big no no. Both witnessed creepy, unexplained activity in the house, and they believe their home might be haunted. Even their family dog Loki seems very disturbed by what's going on. He has no shot collar no shot collar at all in fact i'm gonna go ahead and take this off just so you'll know that there's nothing there come on bud hey no foul play it's okay buddy Yeah, whatever the hell that is. I think that's a dog. I think the dog got scared so. of something and it froze the uh, the camera. I posted it. Oh. See, me and him both heard that. <laughs> and see now he's gonna and run and leave me up here like a douchebag <laughs> as he should see straight up sam says that not only does the house have an odd history but an odd layout as well in particular there is a strange door upstairs that seems to lead nowhere and yeah okay that's some winchester house shit right there dude like the lady winchester house like that has the yep. stairs that go to nowhere all throughout, it's like, like this is it has no stairs leading up to it. In a video, as Sam explains where the door is located, oh, he captures something downright creepy. You can kind of see just how high up that door actually is if you're on the bottom floor. Uh, yeah, you're looking at ten plus eight. Really oh, I saw it coming down. Why the f- 
What? I heard a noise. Strange shadow figure can be seen and two different voices can be heard seemingly speaking to Sam. If you're on the bottom floor, bottom floor, bottom floor. That's a phobia? Ooh. Sam has no idea what he just captured. Or it could be tomatoes and kachow. Yeah. The door is attic storage space. So, one night Sam begins to hear strange sounds throughout his house. He hits record on his phone and goes to investigate. And that's when he sees something that shocks him to his core. Oh. Oh. That's a statue. I, um, uh, uh, oh boy. Looks like creepy, glowing, wide set eyes seem to appear out of the darkness, peering at Sam as he stares back in terror. Whatever it is, then just seems to disappear. And Damn. that's not all that Sam has captured inside his haunted home. The creepy activity even starts to occur in the middle of the day. Oh. videos video gets distorted or something is it while he's moving it or a loud sound startles sam and when he turns around a white translucent figure appears to push a rocking horse well now what not only that look at the stairs, stairs. stairs yeah a loud sound right there, there. Sam, and when he turns around a white translucent figure appears to push a rocking horse causing it to rock slowly back and forth now, with all this collected and highly disturbing footage, of course, Sam's TikTok following is undecided on whether to believe his story or just write it off as another mm. elaborate TikTok hoax. So is it real supernatural activity or just some very good editing? As always, I don't know to you to decide. Neighborhood Watch. Sarah Marie and her husband Bobby are having an afternoon get together with some friends at their home in Florida. And suddenly they spot something very odd at the neighbor's house across the road. I've seen this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nobody in that house. There's nobody at all. Nobody. That I house. didn't know they could be that visible though. Nah. This is <laughs> real. A strange shadow can be seen quickly moving back and yeah. forth in Sarah's neighbor's home, freaking out everyone and even seeming to upset their two puppies. Mm. Yeah. No bueno. Sarah explains online that the home belongs to an older woman whose son, sadly, had passed away. Worried about the mm. older woman's safety, Sarah calls her neighbor. But the woman says, um, I'm not even at home right now. So who or what could this be? The son. I leave it up to you. That's what I would say. This next creepy video went viral on TikTok, but it was originally recorded by Indonesian Twitter user Gusta Dang. Gus explains on Twitter that he was flying from Surabaya, Indonesia, da dang, Mali, son. and that he was the very first passenger to board the empty plane. As Gus is boarding, he records a video to send back to his wife. When he looks back at his footage, he spots something truly chilling. <laughs> Selamat malam. 
15V. Hello. Looked like a woman in a hijab. Someone or something that seems to be cloaked in black can be seen moving around in one of the seats. But when Goose walks by the seat, there's no one there. Gusta Dang's video has been watched over 14 million times, and many viewers believe that the strange figure in the video could be the spirit of a deceased passenger. But what do you think? No, no. A matter of tiny feet. An anonymous TikTok user who is the mother of a newborn baby has shared only one video to her TikTok page, but the video shows something absolutely chilling. Oh, I, I remember this one. I think you and I watched one that had this. I think so. Yeah. First, the eerie sound of someone laughing can be heard. <laughs> the mother is immediately <laughs> alarmed because she lives alone with her baby. She then hears the patter of what sounds like small running pitter, footsteps. Pitter, 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 pitter. And that's when her home's backdoor motion detector goes off. It's Stewie. She immediately fears that someone might be in the house. But in the end, she finds nothing and no one's there. What she heard and captured remains a mystery. Take that user Jim works at what he believes to be a haunted hospital in New Jersey. Early oh one God. afternoon, a security uh, hospital, in one of, the of course. Hospital's hallways captured My neck of the woods. Very creepy during Jim's shift. Oh yeah, Jersey. <laughs> <clears throat> A supply cart can be seen rolling down the hallway on its own. <laughs> He's just staring at it. Little staff nearby. Jim and his co-workers have no idea what could have moved the cart. But things are about to get even stranger. Another CCTV camera in the hospital's laundry room records something absolutely unnerving. Where did it from here? A shaking. Yeah. Oh No way. <laughs> Send me the video when you Oh I'm gonna. The best is when the other one comes over. Oh It's like it, it didn't want to see the front of it, you know, press everything. Yeah. It's funded so that he didn't have to look at it no more, whoever's in their room. Oh my god. Oh, oh. no, the next one is moving. Come and look at the second one. Here it goes. Here comes the second one. No, the second one's moving now. No way. Watch the second one. Then the second one falls off. And the lady comes in from Dude Died Nice. You don't know what to say. She was like. She was on FaceTime or something. You can hear the jersey come out. He's like, yeah, you hear what they say. Any second. Any second. Look, it happened. Look, it's not happening. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. <laughs> People make fun of Southern accents all the time. I can, I can, I can poke a little fun at Jersey. It's spinning the cycle. It's got to be spinning. There's no way that that's spinning. There, there's no. I don't care if it's bolted or not. They're, they don't spin like that. Mine ain't bolted in my house. Mine don't come and walk around my. Look. Oh. Just came out. How'd it come out like that? That was pushed out. I don't care what nobody says. You can tell me. Ain't no way. Me too. Yeah. I can't wait to show everybody. <laughs> look here, wait. Where's Pete? Show him the thing. Look here. Look. <gasps> look at this. Look. Look. Look at it. It's about to fall. It's gonna fall. I think he said that in the like uh, earlier. He was just like, yeah, it falls down, and then the girl comes in and checks on it. Good. Did you ever see what happened last night? The laundry. The laundry. The laundry things in there. 
Oh, look at the look at the thing coming out. Start coming out and moving and going in circles and what you call it. Are they on? Come and look. Yeah, but it's crazy. I no, never saw anything like that in my whole life. Only thing that's missing from this in terms of it being Jersey, it's just like look at this fucking thing here, fl like flying out on the site. Look at that right there. That's fucking crazy. Ain't that fucking crazy? Sorry. <laughs> I've been through Jersey a few times. Dude, I've been through Jersey a few times, and every time I go into a gas station, like that's how they're talking. They're like on the phone with somebody. It's like you don't fucking get it, do you? Like that's that's just not how we do business here. You fucking stupid. And it's just like it's shit. And uh, I'm joking, by the way. You know, the I, whole... I, obviously I know. It's just like it's 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 just so true. Uh, yeah, that's yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, that's like the whole Falkland Islands thing. Uh, a Jersey teacher was teaching a class about the Falkland Islands, and because of the accent it sounded like they were saying the Falkland, the Falkland Island. Islands. The yeah, Falkland just, Islands. And all of a sudden, the kid raises his hand in class. It's just like, and the teacher's like, hey, Johnny, what do you got to say? He's like, so teacher, we're talking about the Falkland Islands, right? He's like, yeah, we're talking about the Falkland Islands. And he's just like, well, if they're not our Falkland Islands, then whose fucking islands are they? <laughs> it's like, God dang it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> slide across the floor as if they weigh nothing, seemingly moved by some unseen force. Jim and his fellow hospital workers can't believe their eyes as they watch the CCTV monitor. Now, even I'm not sure just what's going on here. Could it be that the hospital is indeed haunted, like Jim says? Maybe to be spinning around multiple heavy washers all at the same time. Let me know what you think. Casey Dostert's TikTok page is completely <clears throat> devoted to sharing videos of his fishing and hunting trips in the Michigan outdoors, <laughs> which makes this next singular spooky video on Hell his yeah. TikTok even more bizarre. Hey. Casey explains that he saw an some Michigan, some Michigan like outdoors child, stuff is like more redneck than here. Way back there again, That's saying something too. That is True. until recently. It's already dark when Casey and his friend Ashton drive up to take a look at the house. It did not go well. Oh, so, uh, good old holler trail. I want to take everybody back here. A place I knew about when I was a kid. Haven't been able to find it since. So let me tell you, it's an eerie place. I got to show everybody this now that I found it again. I'm used Ashton with me. I, I'm used to roads like this, but, uh, dude. I'm not. Moon. I love roads like that. I get a bad feeling every time I come in here. Why'd you have to come here on a full moon night? I don't know. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I love his friend. His friend's just like, and you had to drag my ass along with you. God, like, God dang it, man. It's a full moon night. We're going to die out here. So we should be coming up on it <clears throat> pretty quickly. I'm telling you, some bad stuff happened back here. You're of course, you had to say that. All right. Hey, Casey. I got to take you and show you this place. Casey. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Why is the tire swing moving in this tree? Tire. Casey. Oh. <laughs> Probably the wind. <laughs> of course. Really the white thing to say. Dude, yep. Is... I'm locked. Okay. I'm not having the windows down. Windows are up. Doors are locked. Gun is just like firmly like right here. Just like is like ready to go. Like okay. Just like driving. Like okay. I don't see nothing. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And might see something there. Trash bag. It's a trash bag. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Uh, God. Just <sighs> dumb white people bad, shit, dude. Why do we do this? I don't know. Who's a shadow? Casey, go back. Go back. I saw it. Yeah. Huh. I see something in the window, Casey. Really? There was something in the window. Give me that light. All right. 
Yeah, your stick your arm. Out. Yeah, stick your arm out the window even more. That way, when the psycho with the axe comes up near the truck and slices your fucking arm off. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's fucking bubble from Texas Chain Massacre. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Except this is in Michigan, so instead he'll he'll probably be wearing like antlers or some shit like that. Be like out there, just just all of a sudden he just like got Wolverine, got like a Wolverine pelt on. He's got like antlers and all that. And he's just like out there, like. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. To all my Mich- <laughs> to all our Michigan and like Northern, like American, like Northern uh, uh, viewers, just like know this. I don't care if you're offended. You should be. And you're out the car. Die! No, not. Okay. Say the jingle with me one more time, kids. White people are dumb. Dude, there was somebody standing right here. Or Bro. Dude, is that blood on that mattress? Bro. Also, you leave your truck running. Some homeless dude's gonna run out there, hop in your truck, Drive off and leave y'all stranded out here in the middle of a creep in the middle of nowhere in the midst of a creepy cabin. Y'all stupid. Alright, come on. Well, wanna check it out? Go ahead and go first, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> go, 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 yeah, go, yeah. Go, Get the hell out. Someone can be seen standing in the window of the creepy old house. Yeah, and like a hoodie. Building, a door slams shut and the friends just get out of there. Casey explains that some, quote, bad stuff happened in the house in the 1970s, but he doesn't elaborate on the story. So just what did the guys catch on camera? Like a sweater. Yeah, it looks like a, yeah, it looks like a, yeah, looks like a hoodie. An elaborate hoax. You decide. At least, at least a hoodie, maybe a sweater. Angel. Only a few months ago, TikTok user Tana Witt went through a devastating tragedy. Uh, her brother. Her suddenly and yeah. without warning, passed away. Tana's brother was incredibly close to her family, including her two-year-old daughter, Evelyn. One night, Tana and her daughter are home alone when something happens that shocks Tana to her core. To. Uncle. 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 Who are you talking to? Uncle. Uncle. Who are you talking to? Evelyn, who are you talking to? Mm. Who are you talking to? Evelyn seems to be talking to someone that we can't see. And creepiest of all, a whispering male voice can be heard that seems to say, Uncle. talking to even stranger baby Evelyn seems to have heard the voice as she happily shouts uncle over and over yeah who are you talking to that's cute Tana believes that Super without cute. a doubt her two-year-old daughter is speaking with her deceased brother and that Evelyn is being looked after by her loving uncle from the other side. Maybe. Keep a knocking. Take that Keep a knocking. Maru 75 from Germany. If the house is a rockin', night, don't bother knocking. He sounds coming from his living room. When he goes to check it out, things take a terrifying turn.
Oh. Hello. And the door's open. Maru hears knocking from the glass back door. But as he looks, he spots some dark figure moving behind him in the reflection. He spins around, but there's no one there. He turns back toward the door, and the figure is gone. And the door has mysteriously opened by itself. Nope. So, is it real? Or is it just very clever video editing? Uh, I've actually... I remember when we watched this, when going back and going through the edit... I said to myself, like, this is a very good, like, cross edit because it's a double take edit. What you do is you have the person, you do the thing where you look down, look back up, look down, look back up, and then you have the person behind you do that thing, and then you, you do the camera action that you're going to do next, which would be to naturally turn around like that. But then... You go back to the same position that you were in, and then you change the stuff that you want to change. You know, open the door, person's gone, and all that. And then you do the exact same camera action again, and thus it fools you into think. And and that's the thing. That's how you can mask edits really well is True. The camera movement. Is like True. camera movement. It's they do it all the time in movies. People rarely notice it whenever there's like a hidden cut. Whenever like a ca a person moves in front of the camera or whenever they like switch perspectives really fast it happens so quick but that's the one thing that i would say could lend to it being fake but if it's not damn yeah true as always i leave that up to you just like decide. Mm. take that user alexander henderson says that throughout his life he's always been prone to sleepwalk during the night one morning he wakes up to find his front door wide open when he checks his security camera, he's shocked by what he finds. Oh. Sleepwalking, yeah. seems to be sleepwalking and speaking gibberish when something hanging next to the door starts swinging around on its own. It's like own, a keychain or something. And an empty water mm -hmm. jug slides right across the floor. Alexander opens the door, walks outside, and suddenly screams. Ah! He says he has no recollection of what happened to him and has no idea why he screamed. Now, Alexander says he's experienced supernatural activity before. So he begins to suspect that he might have seen something paranormal while sleepwalking. Then, only a day later, this happens. Oh, there's more. Oh! Wow. That's, that's violent. A chair moves on its own. The fridge door opens, and what appears to be a pack of plastic spoons is launched off the kitchen counter. Over the next few months, uh, nothing much happens. But then late one night, Alexander is hanging out at his friend Adam's house when he sees something truly chilling. It was a latch onto him. Ooh. Oh boy. A strange looking woman wearing a red dress appears to be watching Alexander from the building across the street. Alexander claims that when his friend Adam finally came over to see what was going on, the creepy woman had disappeared. While there, Adam asks Alexander to take a look at a speaker that's been acting up and might be broken. Alexander is still recording and captures something. 
terrifying. Don't look up. Don't look up. Oh, there she is. Ah! Oh, did you see it? In the reflection of the window, the same woman in red can suddenly be seen standing behind Alexander in the doorway. Yeah. When he pans around, the woman has moved in an in right there instant and is now standing right next to him. <sighs> Who or what could this eerie looking figure be? Could it be the a woman in red that attached itself to the sleepwalking TikTok user? Mm -hmm. Maybe or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Don't know. The doll, the demon, and the wardrobe. Huh. Ooh. Okay. I've seen I think we've seen this one. In the last 10 years, she has experienced strange paranormal activity in her home in Mexico after purchasing a creepy second-hand doll. In the beginning, Steph started hearing the unexplained voice of a child crying out from within her home. Finally, she had had enough and just threw the doll away. But unfortunately, the paranormal presence never left. One night, Steph hears frightening sounds coming from her bedroom closet. What happens next shocks her to her core. Yeah. Espera, espera. Ve. It just... Está abriendo. No mames. Ya decidió hacerse presente el amigo. Y de día. Ay, no. Miren, 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 miren. There's a hand again. Ay, no. That is. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Where would he have had room to do that? Where would it have room to have done that? Mm -hmm. little childlike hand wraps around the closet door and quietly slides it open. Doubtful viewers of Steph's TikTok assume someone must be hiding inside the closet, but Steph shows that there's no one there. Steph Garza believes that the sinister presence in her home may be a demon, only taking on the form of a small child. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Don't know. Thanks so much for watching. If you listen to absolutely none of the rest of this, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you never miss an episode. Because my mm -hmm. posting schedule is crazy and I'm sorry about that. But this way you'll never miss a video. Please follow me on the Instagrams here, on the Twitter here, and I'm even starting to post some new videos on Slip Slop. I mean, uh, TikTok. Anyway, I hope I see you back here again for the next video. Damn. Woo! Yeah, so that was <laughs> that was some of those were terrifying. Some mm -hmm. of them made, legit made me jump. The uh skinwalker one, probably the one that got me the worst, because I have an innate fear of skinwalkers because of just ugh, oh, just the thought of it. And then uh of course uh you know it, you mean just like saying that, yeah, leave whatever that was. I mean, you know, in West Virginia, I mean, it's probably some, probably some like disgruntled like backwoods woman upset that they built an office building on her freaking property or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, dude, this, uh, this is uh, like this video was 
terrifying to a certain mm-hmm. extent. Some of these, some of these are just naturally just gonna get me because I can't help it. I really yeah. can't help but just feel like like oh ooh, ooh just it, spooky. Yeah, so oh so spooky. So yeah, I really don't know what else to say other than just damn and holy shit and I can't wait to uh see more of these and uh hopefully hopefully we'll uh, be able to post some of these on uh, TikTok, you know, some of the frights that we had. Also, I think we got a new jingle for uh, whenever <laughs> white people be doing dumb shit. White people are dumb. Yeah. I think that's really all that needs to be said. Uh, we got three more videos to watch, and I'm already, like, terrified. Yeah. I don't know what else to think right now other than just what's next and what, uh, like, what else is going to get me. Oh. But anyway, we're going to end this one here, everyone. This was Nuke's top 20 uh, scariest TikTok ghost videos of the year uh, by Nuke's Top 5. And uh, if you want to see more from Nuke, uh, feel free to click uh, his name in the title of the video. And if you want to see more from Sin Poppy, uh, feel free to uh, click his name in the title of the video. And also, if you want to see, uh, you know, other videos featuring... We'll, we'll have annotations on screen that will take you to his channel and take you to everything else that he's got going on. And until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. And I'm Rick. And we'll see you later, everybody. Sleep Peace. Tonight.